Hello, it's me Nor again from MyBeerQuest.com, and today we have an old favorite of mine uh, from one of my favorite breweries, um, Stone Brewery. Uh, this one, actually, believe it or not, has been sitting in my fridge for about a year. Uh, I don't know why I never got around to it. Perhaps I was waiting for a special occasion or something. And I, I don't think I've ever talked about it on uh, on the video part of the vlog. I, I have uh, mentioned it before, before I started doing these videos, the video expeditions. Uh, it's a stone old guardian. It's a seasonal limited release, and um, probably have a hard time finding this one because this one is um, the limited early 2008 release, which is about a year ago. I believe I came out in February of last year, and I'm, I'm not really sure why uh, they split it up to early and um, two different releases, uh, one early and one, um, one a later one. But we're going to try it out. Usually I like the Stone Brewery um, brews in the Stone uh, Pine class of mine, but since this one is the Old Guardian Barley Wine, decided to try to use a, a more of a wine glass, and this is sort of a tulip style glass, and they call it the tulip glass because it is shaped like a tulip flower, although this is not really a true tulip glass. Um, but I'm hoping to get more aroma, uh, that's what way these glasses are designed, get more aroma and in that case more flavor, because uh, well, there's all sort of interrelated. It does uh, have a hefty, if you read back there, um, you know, really small writing. I, I don't really want to go into it right now. Nice. Uh, I've always uh, liked Stone's uh, artwork and stuff. Um, a lot of people will think they're evil, but actually they're put there to ward off evil. <laughs> they are rather, rather ominous looking. Okay. Wow, I can tell that's, that, that one. Like I said, I'm usually not patient enough to keep these around for as long as I've kept this one. But there's no time like the present. Wow. So that's a nice looking beer. Better look at it there. Isn't that nice? Wow. Uh, I already get, you know, a sense of the hop. You know, what kind of, uh, you, you can kind of judge how hoppy it is from the aroma. Wow. And for those of you familiar, not only with uh, stone, but with barley wines, you, you know, a lot of them are really uh, hoppy. This one is 11.26 alcohol per volume. Got to be careful with this one. But I, uh, I have to tell you, this is different than any other Old Guardian I've had. It's sort of, um, huh. definitely tastes the hops, but it almost has this, like, Belgium feel to it, like a Trappist sort of ale, um, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but it doesn't uh, taste like uh, any of the barley wines from Stone I've remembered, so it is a really interesting one. I think, yeah, I'm going to really enjoy this one. This isn't the type of beer where you sit and you know, chug. This is a one where you sip and enjoy. I don't think I'm going to really enjoy this one, but it is rather different than what I expected. I have to tell you the truth. Hmm. It's hoppy, yet it, it, it does have a, a different finish. <laughs> So 
sort of a Belgium type uh, finish. It's a uh, Riley wine. So, wow. Interesting. If you do see this one, uh, no matter what um, you know year, like I said, this is the early uh, 2008 series. I think they had a late 2008, uh, which was probably the same one. I don't know if they just bottled it earlier or what. Or just anything from Stone. Stone is a really great brewery. But if you're uh, if you're not familiar with barley wines, give them a try. They're usually limited re release. Um, but you gotta be careful. They are higher in alcohol than the normal beers. So until next time, thanks for stopping by. Cheers. Enjoy your beer.